All right, if you want to see a perfect example of Jesuitical sophistry, where they answer questions without answering questions, uh, they use play little word games. This, this uh, article here was sent to me, Jesuit Superior, the Black Pope. He doesn't want to be called the Black Pope because it's negative, <laughs> like whatever. Jesus was not black and white on man-woman marriage. Why is he saying it? Because he's probably a pervert son. Well, not probably. I'm sure he's a pervert son. Like this is the 5th of April, two days ago. This is being recorded on the 7th of April. Um, it says here, the new superior of the worldwide Jesuit religious order said recently that as Jesus Christ's words about marriage were never recorded, there is no, it's never recorded. It's scripture, you lying devil. There's no basis for a black and white church doctrine centering on lifelong marriage between one man and one woman. So the Jesuits hate the Word of God. That's the whole point. In a recent interview with Vatican journalist Giuseppe Rosconi of the Italian Catholic blog that you know, Father Arturo Sosa, I'll just call him the Black Pope, um, Abasco states that uh, Abasco is his last name, states that Jesus' words about marriage must be contextualized and discerned. All right, naturalistic textual criticism. Right? It's just Jesus was just a man, like kind of just a historical figure, and we can kind of treat, you know, the Bible like um, Moby Dick or, or uh, you know, the Odyssey or um, any other, you know, historical work. It's not sacred. It's not. It's not holy scripture. You know, disgusting. Human reality is more nuanced and never black and white," said uh, said the Pope. Here, the Black Pope, who was elected superior of the Society of Jesus in October. LifeSite News has published the translation of the interview, which included the topic of remarriage following divorce. The Black Pope, who is from Venezuela, was asked by Rosconi about Jesus' teaching regarding marriage as provided in the Gospel of Matthew. He said to them, Have you not read that he who made them in the first place, this is a Catholic uh, thing here, um, it says, For this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and will live with his wife, they too will become one. So they are no longer two but one. Let no man divide what God has put together. It's Catholic, you know, translation there. But the point is, you know, man and woman. And this lying Satanist uh, black pope is the Bible's not clear. There's you know nothing black and white on marriage. Look at his answer. This is how Jesuits talk. Rosconi stated to the black pope that the perfect the prefect of the congregation for the doctrine of the faith by the way this right here prefect for the doc of the congregation for the doctrine of the faith is the new name for the office of inquisition I'm not joking you can look that up cardinal cardinal gerhard mueller observed the words of jesus were clear and that no power in heaven and on earth neither an angel nor the pope neither a council nor a law of the bishops has the faculty to modify them he's right but then, you know, it's tongue-in-cheek because it's like the Catholics do modify them. They just did it up here. It's a, just an organization of liars. And the father lies of Satan. At that time, no one had a recorder to take down his words. The Jesuit superior responded. Okay. They wrote it down. What is known is that the words of Jesus must be contextualized. They are expressed in a language in a specific setting. They are addressed to someone in particular. <laughs> yeah, you'll love that. Asked whether the words of Jesus then have an absolute value, the Black Pope replied, Over the last century in the church there has been a great blossoming of studies that seek to understand exactly what Jesus meant to say. That is not relativism, yes it is, but attests the, that the word is relative. It's not relativism, relativism, but attest that the word is relative. I'm not stabbing you. I am uh, simply killing you with a knife. The gospel is written by human beings. It is accepted by the church, which is made up of human persons. So it is true that no one can change the word of Jesus, but one must know what it was. <laughs> yeah. What a crazy nut. Asked whether he is questioning Jesus' words, the Black Pope said he agrees with Pope Francis, also a Jesuit. Of course. One does not bring into doubt, one brings into discernment. 
the superior said. <laughs> These people, their damnation is so just. Burn in hell, you wicked, stinking Jesuits. I was just, ugh, disgusting. Rosconi replied that, with discernment, the final decision is based on a judgment relative to different hypotheses, and thus brings the word of Jesus into doubt. The black pope responded that he did not mean the word of Jesus, but the word of Jesus as we have interpreted it. <laughs> discernment leads to a decision, and one, one, one must not only evaluate, but decide. Uh, it's not real long, it's just about over here. The Jesuit superior continued that the church has always made personal conscience a priority. Uh, doctrine is a word that I don't like very much. It's Black Pope saying this. It brings with it the image of the hardness of stone. Yeah, the stone which the builders rejected. Huh. Uh, that was Jesus. Yeah. The Black Pope said, Instead, the human reality is much more nuanced. It is never black or white. It is in continual development. Oh boy, right there, that statement. Right here, what the Black Pope just said. Right there. Instead, the human reality is much more nuanced. Listen to James White sometime. The King James Bible believing movement, the King James onlyists, they are they don't understand shades and nuances of the original languages, of the Greek and things. That's what he says. It is never black or white. It is in continual development. The pre preface for the NIV said, there is a sense in which the work of translation is never wholly completed. It's in my, one of my videos, one of my documentaries. It's a continual process. Yeah. So you can never say, this is God's word right here I hold in my hands. Oh no, you can't do that. Because the Bible is continually changing. We can't have doctrines that are made, that are written in stone. We can continually change it. We can continually say, yea, hath God said. It's exactly what this wicked, stinking devil is meaning by this. That guy right there, go to hell, burn in hell. Okay? I'm going to tell you something, right? Because some of you are just a bunch of little, uh, just little sissies, okay? Just go be blunt with you here. You are not aware of things like satanic ritual abuse or the, the ritual sacrifices that go on and things behind closed doors, the mind control programming, um, and torture, and and just there's there's some really horrible stuff that goes on in this world. That guy to get to that position has done some real sick stuff. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Don't even tell me that the black pope has gotten there because of hard work and what he's worked hard at killing people and stuff and, and being involved in satanic ritual abuse. I will guarantee you that he's molested children and done things that are so horrible. I've read some of this stuff, okay? And I've talked to people that have been through some of the satanic ritual abuse. And some of you little sissies out there have no idea. Why would you say he deserves hell? Oh, that's not, he should love him. It's, listen to me, listen to me. I love people. That's why I witness to people. That's why I have this internet ministry. But when I see a devil like that, I have no love for that man. He is literally a devil walking in the flesh. His damnation is just.